as well. Guys, why don't we take it away? Okay, we're on to our third game, quite possibly our final game. Here's effort. Oh. In what was I think our longest circuit This circuit. is BlizzCon championship. championship match. Game three There's of best zero. of three. Down at the bottom of Outsider, a three player map. Let's look at how the boards are scouting. Uh, we see that uh, down here from Zeros going in the wrong direction. Efforts going in the right direction. So he should have a little bit of an edge with that. Okay, one thing to note about this map you get a ramp. This is low ground. This is your high ground. It means you can defend more units from low ground with less units up here. So layer techs pretty quickly are great. Another thing to note is that there's this ring around the map um, that is absolutely great. You can get two gas guys in the back. And um, there's the Panda Bear guy. There he is. Oh! What is that? You can also buy his shirts at thehandsofbear.com. I, I have very good shirts at the He knows to keep that species alive. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, you know, they already played on this map in the last uh, set that these two played together in the winner bracket final. And on that map, uh, Outsider, F1, and what he won with was really intelligent circling play. They had, they both had big groups in the middle. Zero kind of went the wrong way, and Effort just took that shot, went straight to Zero's base, ran up the ramp. Zero did not have his circling placed correctly at the top of the ramp, and that really gave Effort the win, you know. He, he won that way, but, you know, if Zero had been a little bit more careful, had those on top of the ramp a little bit better, he may have been able to stop that. We have early pool Everyone and early likes. extractor for, um, for Zero. So Zero going to stick with what he did last game. Same thing here from, um, from Effort, but it's a little bit later. So Effort will actually have an economic advantage here. Yes, indeed he will. And, uh, you know, this is a map that's really cool. When they expand, will they take the natural expansion? Or will they go jump some drones? Because around the side of this map are a lot of hidden expansions that you can just jump drones over and expand into something that has two gas geysers at it that Zerglings can't attack. So it's interesting to see that. And already Effort has made that decision, as we see on the mini map. He has taken his natural base right out in front, uh, a much closer hatchery to his opponent, but easier to have it attacked. He um, will have to watch out because Zerglings are already hatching. There might be a little bit of pressure applied here. However, we see the layer is already morphing, so he's actually thinking Mutalisk's not going to go with the ground game. I totally agree with that. Um, I don't think this is necessarily a good all circling map. But, unfortunately, he has not found his opponent. So he's spreading out now. Yeah, that's, that's too bad. And it looks like, you know, it's obviously... Well, actually... But I think he was spreading out maybe to look for Zerglings just yeah. in case. His Overlord did go in the wrong direction, so he's playing a little bit blind still. Okay, he's chased off. Layer's still on the way. Do we have a layer here? No, maybe Zerglings speed on the way for effort. Yeah, you know, he has that quick second hatchery, so I think we may see a lot of Zerglings out of effort. That is how he won on this map in the previous match against Zero, so maybe he feels like he can do that again. Well, if uh, Zero decides to do this, he's going to have to keep this area secure. He's going to have less ground units. Effort going to stick with Zerglings. Uh, he's going to try to sneak one Zergling over here. This is not just to scout. This is also to try to keep these Zerglings chasing him instead of attacking over here. Now Zero, he's taking his high ground. He's going to form a nice little arc of those Zerglings. Get the surface area on. It's important, you know, high ground, first hits, surface area. All these things are very, very important when you have all these tiny little units attacking each other. Oh, nice cut up there. Every Zergling counts. Everett's going for it. He uh -oh. A few more links pop out here, but we don't have a sunken colony up. We need a sunken colony here for zero. Yeah, this is actually quite dangerous. Oh! He should be making a sunken. Blocked his own drone from making the sunken colony. That seconds down the drain. Effort splits up his zerglings. Uh, zero is now stuck inside of his base. An attack from either side could really hurt him. And that sunken colony placement that you see there, that is to help hold the ramp. But already he's inside the base, so this might not be that helpful. Ooh. And the zerglings is running one drone already dead. This is going to be tough. He's going to use these areas around the mineral patches. He has less circlings. Effort circlings are a little bit faster. He engages. The concave favors the green turf. Oh, very nice there by Zero. Holds those off. Now all he has to do is clean that up, and he's going to be pretty much safe with that sunken guard in the top of his ramp and a few circlings. It's going to be almost impossible to bust that with circlings from Effort. You know what's really smart about this um, is that he did not make with an extra larva circlings. So he's going to have three mutalisks. We can see here, once again, Effort doing the same strategy. 
Yeah, he's really into score colonies nowadays, but uh, you know, we've seen Zero really knows how to play from that position. You know, you make scores, okay, I'll take my expansion now and I'll just get more units in you. And we're gonna have to see if it plays out exactly like that last game. Okay, no damage dealt there. Yeah, th those Zerglings came in, you know, all they did was kill some Zerglings and maybe one. Oh wow, oops, that is really bad. Yeah, he only has one hatchery, you know, every larva counts. Yeah. Now he has to spend another one and a hundred minerals on another Overlord, so that is quite annoying. Okay, he's moving out, but I don't think he has enough Zerglings actually. We need a second colony. We see a lot of Zerglings coming here from our green uh, Zerg. And he's going to use the Mutas to snipe off those Zerglings, giving him a ground advantage here. He could get his way into the pain. Oh, wow. Uh, very nice play. The drones coming out. You don't want drones against Mutas. They do not hit air. The Panther guy is watching all in full right here. He does drive back those drones, um, as well as the Zerglings. Ever did do a good job of defending there. Yeah, that was really smart and quick thinking by him. If he had pulled those over, those Zerglings had got up into the main. That would have been bad. Yeah, that would have been a disaster. Um, and again, both these guys really succumb to pressure. One idle drone here. You really can't afford to do that in StarCraft. Uh, especially in server. Yeah. server. You know, you have so few drones, you're missing one, suddenly you can't afford your muse, and you're like, wait a minute. And uh, we do see an expansion coming up here. 4-0. And the Spire, in fact, is making more efforts. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have to see. He's going to have to just pump out Mutas nonstop. He needs that gas in his expansion pretty quickly, I think, so that he can catch up in unit numbers. That's all Zero has been mining gas all game long. He has a lot of units already, and it's just going to grow and grow and grow, especially with this new expansion coming out. A little bit of scouting here by Effort. It's going to be stopped, it looks like, by Zero's uh, Mutalisks. He wanted to get in there. He wants to see how many hatcheries his opponent has. Uh, he does clean that up pretty easily. Going right for that additional extractor. He needs all that Vespian gas to make more Mutalisks. And it looks like Effort right now, he has a great economy, really. If you look at his mineral patches, it's really quite a few drones. The Spire's almost done, so his economy can definitely support a couple hatches of units going. And uh, Zero, you know, his, his economy should get a lot better once that natural expansion hatches out. But he really doesn't have quite as many units as I was expecting to have at this point. Okay, we do have a lot of circuits over here. Moving out now, uh, and it, that was a bad move by Zero. He should not have even been out there. Uh, but again, the Mutalisk advantage is in favor of Zero. We do have the Spire finishing, though. Basically, the way Effort plays is he goes very circling heavy, um, just gets a bunch of Spore Colonies, defends, and trusts that since he has an additional expansion, even though the other player can expand as well, he can mine more Vespian gas and catch up with Yeah, and you know, that's really smart by him. He is the better CBC player, even though Zero is playing absolutely great. And the better player you are normally, the longer game you want to have. You know, the, the little lux and random bits of StarCraft work themselves out the further you get into the game. Yeah. It looks, uh, well it appears so far, that we don't have a lot of drones here from Zero. Zero still focusing very heavily on Utilisks. He's going to have to get a few more drones. You can see, Ever does have the drone advantage overall, mining a lot of minerals and gas, whereas you can see, very thin number of drones, not even every mineral patch being used, for instance, um, and hardly any over here. This is going to give Effort the opportunity to catch up, and Effort going to go with a timing attack. Muna's attacking here. Ling's going to attack over here. Oh, wow. This is actually a really great attack. They're just going to hit the main. The Ling will hit the front. Here come the Muna's to the bend, and a huge number of Zerglings. Beautiful play right here by Effort. He's taking out drones. He doesn't care about keeping his Muna's alive. The hatchery's going to go down. Zero can't defend everywhere at once. <laughs> great, great play. These Zerglings are going to keep him busy now in the main base, and his Muna's have to kind of sit there. Look at this. Waste to even more mutas. He knows he's going to lose these mutas if, uh, if Zero decides to attack with his mutas, that is, of course. I guess not, but uh, just try to kill drones. Well, he basically destroyed the expansion, the majority of the workers. Look at the economy over here from Effort. Effort played this out very well. This is not easy to do. And he once again stuck in, hiding the mutas. Oh, wow. Zero sent his mutas out here. He can't defend. Two drones left. You know, Zero understands at this point, he is pretty much dead. So he is just going to go up and try to kill him off. But no, there are already four callings up there. Four views are hatching. Really, I cannot see him breaking effort right now. And if he doesn't break him, the game is pretty yeah. much over. He's going to try to just get in there. He's not going to do it. And that's going to be it. You can see two drones here. There's no way to really yeah. to recover from this economically. And in fact, has one of you over here. Expect GG any second. That's right. Unless we start seeing quick colonies. Okay. GG!